morning and welcome to Rick Mitsubishi. My name's Joel and today we're going to be doing a walk around of this 2017 Hyundai Elantra Active Model Year 18. So it's built in 2017 based on the model of 2018's year. It's done approximately 19,000 kilometres, so not very many at all. So this particular vehicle, if you're looking for something that's going to last you a while, I wouldn't look any further. The paintwork on this vehicle is immaculate, very, very good condition. It's only done 19 to uh, 19 and a half thousand kilometers for the age of the car, which is very, very low. Approximately 7.2 average fuel consumption combined per hundred, which is very, very good too. So if you're gonna be using it as a get around car with a little bit of extra room, it's very, very handy. So we do have this in a gray color. Now the color code for, for this particular car is iron gray. It is a six speed automatic, which is very, very nifty. So very handy to have. Two liter injected engine on this vehicle too. So we're gonna have a look at the exterior, interior, and also the features in the car as well. So it's just gonna be a quick walk around today just to give you a good understanding of what's uh, on the vehicle itself. Now the paintwork is in immaculate condition. If I could recommend anything, uh, even just slightly, it would be our hydro protection package. Very, very highly recommended on this particular car. Um, will make it a lot easier to clean, keep that paintwork in very, very good condition for the resale value. And because it's only got very, very low Ks, it would work so well on this particular car. So just having a quick look, it does look like we do have our 16 inch alloys on this particular car. It's in a very good condition. We do have daytime running lights, uh, which is located around the outside of the particular headlight as well. Uh, so you can see with that little tick kind of look on there. Daytime running lights in here. We do have our fog lights on this car as well. A very nice just grill on the front there. Now, color match wing mirrors and also door handles on this particular car too. Uh, indicator located on the quarter panel at the very front, uh, which is very easy to see. Very nifty too. Quick peer into this uh, passenger side over here. Door trim has a very good amount of storage space, so very, very handy to have. Now, the footwell as well has got genuine carpet mats, so it's a very good sign that the previous owner has looked after the car. And I mean, being that it's only got 17 or so thousand kilometers, I don't think they would have done too much in this car yet. So this could be a brilliant first car if that's what you're looking for. Uh, fabric seats are in very good condition all the way around. We'll do a quick peer on them. Um, however, very good condition. Rear door over here is in good nick as well very very handy just having a quick peer in here too so a very good condition on this door trim as well very good amount of storage we do have a netting uh, storage compartment on the very back here and it looks like we do have a little cup holder storage too so it's in the very back here for some weird reason but we'll pop that in the front and i'll show you how that works in a moment uh, fabric seats yet again on a uh, very good condition in here um, it has potentially been used as a car seat um, but Yet again, the, the fabric seats are in good condition. Petrol uh, cap over here is on the left-hand side of this vehicle. So if you do have any petrol issues on the freeway, um, as some people do tend to run them very, very low, it is a lot safer to fill up the car on the left-hand side, being away from traffic as well. Uh, back left-hand rim over here is in very good condition. Minor little gutter ash on the top. It's probably about you know small little one, as you can see, but nothing really to mention. Now, coming around, we do have our gorgeous Elantra badge. Now, this color just makes it look very, very nice as well. So, I, I can't really say too much more about the color. So, it's in very good nick. Very good nick. Um, we'll open up the boot in just a moment for you as well. We do have our reverse parking sensors, which are brilliantly color matched in the very back of the bumper there. Uh, coming around slightly towards the corner just here as well, which is very, very nifty. So, as you can see, the shine on this car is just gorgeous. The back right-hand tire over here is in very good condition too. No gutter rash on that particular rim either. I'll just get this detailing mat out of the car real quickly. Um, is very, very good nick on this one too. Carpet mat still on the ver on the floor there as well. And seats are in very good condition too. Door trim, yet again, no marks or anything like that. Uh, very good amount of storage as similar to the other side of the vehicle. Driver side door here, we'll just continue through, have a look at the tire and then I'll show you the boot really quickly. So paintwork is in a very good condition yet again. So nothing really to mention at all there. Now I'll open up the boot for you, which is able to be done with a key. Just didn't have the key on me. So I'm gonna open this one up now. So with the press of a key, now we do have two keys with this particular car, which is very, very nifty um, and not very common with secondhand cars. It does look like we do have a boot liner in here as well, which is a little bit of a rubber slash foam one. So looks like it's been in there since almost brand new, which is very, very good. There you go, so very good condition on that one too. 
You're able to fold down the seats if you'd like to by simply pulling that lever, or this one on the left-hand side as well. Let's have a look inside the driver's side over here now. Driver's side door trim is in very good condition. Um, mirror controls, window controls and everything located on your door trim. Now we do have a good amount of storage space on here as well. Now just peering in, footwell is in very good condition. A lantern of mats are located in there too. Fuel, fuel cap and also your um, bonnet is located on the right hand side there too. Just having a quick peer around. It's in very, very good nick. We'll jump inside the car, have a quick look and run over all of the interior features. Just move this seat back slightly so you can see what it looks like to be on the inside of this car. And I'll start it up in just a moment. So just having a look here, we do have our cruise control settings on the right hand side over here as well. Um, mode uh, controls and also our volume controls on the left hand side here too. So our phone controls are located in the very center con over here, um, along with all of our media controls and everything like that as well. So we do have your Android Auto and Apple CarPlay in built into this particular car with, with USB music as well. So all of that's built into that very, very nicely. Now our climate control settings, uh, very, very easy to control, very nifty as well, um, located just underneath our hazard light button right there. Uh, now we do have our front reader mister, USB, AUX, and two ports under there. Now these can also be hidden by pressing this up, and it's got a little bit of a lever action, so you can hide all of that away uh, if you'd like to. Now the previous owner has installed a little bit of a um, cable routing thing. We've left it on there just because if you would like to use it, you're more than welcome to as well. Now. The previous owner also didn't peel off very many of the stickers in this car, so it's it's kept in very, very good condition. It's cup holder and compartment. Now, this is the little center cup holder, as I was talking about before. It has a little bit of a storage compartment in the very center, which just sits nicely in there. So you can take it out, move it around if you'd like to. Or peep. Some people don't even use it, but coins is what a lot of people use that one for. Um, center compartment over here is in very good condition. A lot of storage in there as well. So very, very nifty. Just a quick peer around, we'll have a look at the reverse camera on the car, just to show you how it looks whilst this is on. Popping that into reverse now, there is our reverse camera, which is very, very active. And you can also see when I do turn our wheels, our lines do change, which is pretty nifty for reverse parking into those uh, sometimes hard to get spaces and all of our controls. Now we do have auto lights uh, on this particular car uh, and uh, just a standard wipers. Um, indicators and everything located on the right hand side with your lights and also on the left has your wipers on here as well but other than that that's pretty much the complete walk around of this hyundai elantra which is look it, it's a one-of-a-kind car it's not going to last too long so i'd highly recommend if you're going to be looking at purchasing this vehicle act fast because it will not last very long at all other than that, if you would like to extend the warranty, we do have extended warranty options available. So please feel free to ask our staff on how we can tailor some to you and your needs. There's just our daytime running lights. It gives you a good understanding of what's coming at you. Thank you for watching this walk around. My name's Joel and have a lovely day.